Hey everyone, it's Tammy at Walnut Creek Bath Boutique and I thought I would just bring you on here with me real quick. I'm making a very quick batch of toner for a salon that I have my products in. They are wanting to do a facial special and I didn't have any toner in there so that's what I'm doing now. I have sanitized all of my equipment with 70% rubbing alcohol. It's mostly dry, I'm just getting the last of it off of there. And then I just let that sit for a while. I sanitized my surface as well. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and put this on and we're just gonna make some toner real quick. And I'm gonna, I usually anymore, I weigh in grams and then when I put the product in the bottles, I do that in ounces. I just find it to be a little bit more accurate weighing out in grams. Well, a lot more accurate, but you know, sometimes with like cold process soap, it's not that of a big deal, but whenever I'm making, so whenever I'm making like a lotion or anything like that, bath bombs even, I always do that in grams. Okay, so in here I need some water. So I have, okay, I'm just gonna weigh out some water. What I, what I normally do is I have these little containers. I, I sanitize these and um, then I add some of these ingredients that I have trouble getting exactly. This helps, it's easier to control. Next is some aloe vera liquid. Let me see if I have, my, so I have my aloe vera liquid. Next, we're gonna do some witch hazel. So I have some witch hazel here. Is it just me? Or does everyone love the smell of witch hazel? <laughs> I really like it. Put that back on, I am making a mess. All right, and now we're gonna be adding some rose hydrosol. Oops, another. Hydrosols can be a very pricey ingredient to add to your products, but man, they give it such a lovely scent and hydrosols are just, I love them. But yeah, sometimes people wonder why a uh, product will cost so much. And it's like, this is, this is a good, good amount of rose hydrosol we just added. Okay, so now I'm going to do glycerin. So I have some vegetable glycerin here. Glycerin is a humectant, so it draws moisture to your skin. So I really like it. And then the last two ingredients, I'm gonna get a smaller scale. So now I'm adding some DL panthenol, which is a vitamin B. You know, the, the stuff you get on the shelf is probably fine, but you're not going to find, you know, like if they had rose hydrosol, they'd probably put like 1% rose hydrosol and then add some rose fragrance in there. I think that's the, the benefit of purchasing from a local artisan or a local maker is that, you know, we take more, I think, more pride, maybe. I, don't, I mean, I don't wanna say the companies are bad, but there's there's definitely a strong amount of pride and, and care in what we do. And we're not going to 
um, cheat you. Call it a rose hydrosol and then put like, or call it a rose facial toner and then, and then just put a titch of rose in there just so we can say that. Um, where our, our main, our main, um, consideration isn't always just the bottom line. We want to give you good products. So I think that's, that's one of the things, you know, um, yeah, this is pro this is definitely going to cost more off the shelf than what you're going to find at your local drugstore. But I also think it's going to be a better product for your face. And then I'm going to preserve this with some Liquid Germal Plus. Let's see, 3.6. Okay, so now I'm just gonna stir this up a bit. Let that DL Panthenol kind of dissolve. It smells good, fresh. It's not over the top. Rose, like the, the hydrosols, they're not super um, over the top usually in the small department. So it's not gonna like be your grandma throwing on her rose lotion on you. <laughs> it's just a lovely scent. Well, that didn't take long to dissolve. It's nice and clear. It's fully combined. And I think it's gonna, I'm gonna be packaging them. I have these adorable frosted bottles. They'll hold five or four ounces or so. So I'm gonna get this back over to ounces. Oh, and I have a funnel because this pour spout is not good. And again, everything's sanitized. Let's see here. Make, try not to make a mess. See, that's 4.25. That's probably a good amount. Let's see if I can get them all at that. I do weigh every single item that I package. I wanna make sure that if it says 4.25 on the label, you are getting 4.25 or more. Okay. So I was able to get 4.2 in every bottle and then a couple bottles will have 4.25. So my labels are gonna say 4.2, okay? All right, I'm back. I have my labels created for my toner and I just thought I would share how I do this. So I have a silhouette uh, machine. It's a vinyl cutter, but I create all of my labels on that software and I am able to make any size label I want to. I'm not restricted by, I know a lot of, a lot of people will use like the Avery labels. I'm not at all restricted with anything like with size. I can do round, square, oblong, it doesn't matter. So I have created my labels. I don't know if you can see them so well through the camera, but I have my ingredients. I have how to use them. I have my logo the name of the product, how much it weights in ounces and fluid and, and milliliters since it's a liquid. My address and phone number is on there. How to contact me. So those are all basically regulated by the government. I have to have all of that on my labels. And then I just cut them up with this. So I, I um, printed them on weatherproof it's not really waterproof labels i get my labels from online labels um anytime it's in a bathroom environment that that your hands may be wet when you use it i try to do i try to use this higher i don't know if it's higher quality it's more of a doesn't smear or rub off like if i just used a regular paper um, I'm going to smear it there. That's not too bad. I also use this, um, the weatherproof label on my, uh, lip balms because they're handled so much that I found that if I just use regular sticker paper, also from online labels, 
then uh, the ink rubs off. And that's, that's just, just it's a high use item. So I find that weatherproof labels work better for those. Also, I think they're a little thinner. So when you have a bottle or even especially like a lip balm that you're wrapping tightly, I think that this label works better. Uh, oops, I didn't hold that down very well. I um, I found that the um, regular labels are thicker and they, they want to peel off, peel up. So this is what I do. I, I design, print, and cut every label by hand. I wish I had a better cutter. I'm not in love with this thing, but at this point, it's the best I have. So I'm gonna put this on a towel here, and then I'm just gonna label them. I try to get them as even as possible. And there you go. I don't know, is the light too bright in here? I feel like it's glaring. I'm not sure if you can really see what I'm doing. I could shut, kind of angle these. I have two lights on either side of my table. Maybe I'll angle them down and you can see a little better. I'm excited that the, the salon that I have my products in is doing a special with their mini facials with my products. That's that's kind of exciting. I um I already have uh the uh, I have a hyaluronic acid uh, facial cream that they'll use. I have some micellar water there that takes off makeup. They may use that. I have a eucalyptus mint. It's on my website. It's a eucalyptus mint. Um, ooh, that's not very good, is it? Uh, cleansing balm. I love, love, love that stuff. Uh, I need to find different packaging for it. But other than that, it's a really good cleanser. It leaves your face feeling really nice and moisturized and hydrated. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty exciting. Guys, this is the last one. I only made six. All right. There they are. My toners are ready to go to the salon.